And you can see her preparing the face she needs to answer. Why did Camille Vasquez accuse Amber Heard of fake crying throughout her infamous defamation trial with Johnny Depp? Why do so many members of the public insist that Heard had been acting the whole time? And what do body language experts have to say about Amber's latest interview? Stay tuned because we've got the key body language signs that may prove that Amber did indeed lie. The case of Depp v. Heard has gone down in history. The defamation suit began years ago when Amber had previously accused Johnny of D.V. during their romantic relationship, going so far as to publish a Washington Post op-ed in 2018 about her experience, which in turn wrecked Johnny's career and public perception. Johnny has since alleged that Amber has in fact been the perpetrator and the mastermind behind his image being wrecked the whole time. The evidence certainly seems stacked against Amber, hence why she lost the case. But why has the internet largely sided with Johnny on the matter? And how far did Amber really go to gain some sympathy and be perceived as the victim? Recently, Amber Heard has given her first interview in June 2022. Since the Virginia jury found her guilty of defaming Johnny Depp, sitting down with NBC journalist Savannah Guthrie to reflect on her side of the story, Guthrie, a well-respected anchor on NBC's Today Show, who moderated one of the presidential debates between Joe Biden and Donald Trump in October 2020, previously interviewed two members of Depp's legal team, Camille Vasquez and Benjamin Chu, and also admitted that her husband, Michael Feldman, had served as an advisor to Johnny. Of course, at the beginning of the interview, she had to issue a quick statement saying, A quick disclosure, my husband has done consulting work for the Depp legal team, but not in connection with this interview. While Amber was being interviewed, she expressed how she currently feels about Johnny, saying, Absolutely, I love him. I loved him with all my heart. I have no bad feelings or ill will toward him at all. And in a two-minute clip released in advance, Heard was saying she does not blame the jury for its verdict, following the seven-week trial. I don't blame them. I actually understand. He's a beloved character. And that Johnny's team was the reason behind the hate campaign targeted against her. While analyzing this interview, a body language expert, Greg Hartley, expressed that Amber shows contempt and hatred toward others as her baseline, which indeed made it hard for the jury to relate or empathize with her. But within this interview, her voice did not match her facial expression, suggesting that she was yet again acting. She also does confirmation nods when she's speaking to try and convince herself that she is completely right in what she is saying. Chase Hughes, another body language expert, went on to express how confusing it was for Amber to state that the public has no right to be in her business and that they don't know the extent to what went on behind closed doors with her and Johnny. This was extremely ironic, considering that Amber was quick to illegally record intimate moments of Johnny behind the same closed doors several times and leak them to TMZ. Amber's expression in addressing why she believes that fans don't like her is one of extreme superiority. Hughes then added that though Amber's ability to persuade people may be high, her ability to understand their emotional intelligence is pretty low. This was demonstrated on the stand several times when Camille Vasquez, Johnny's lawyer, was questioning Amber for lying under oath when it came to the $7 million divorce settlement that Amber insisted she gave to charity. And you were here in court when Mr. White testified that the payments were all made on schedule, right? I don't believe they were, uh, he might have That's testified That's not my question, that. Ms. Heard. My question was, you were here in court when Mr. White testified under oath that all the payments were made on schedule. I was here every day in court. I, I heard his testimony, yes. Okay. Amber seemed to deflect all of Camille's questions to the point where Vasquez had to ask Heard several times to please just answer the question at hand. And just take a look at this. Ms. Heard. I don't use it synonymously. That's how donations are paid. Ms. Heard, respectfully, that's not my question. Some fans even joked about Amber's angry deflection. One wrote, Camille Vasquez, have you donated all the $7 million to charity? Amber Heard, yesn't. Another said, anyone else feels like Amber looks at Camille like she wants to wring her neck? Of course, the experts suggested that Amber may have a lot of hatred in her heart as we are seeing contempt and disdain the whole time. Some even suggested that Amber's constant expression of her head being cocked back and her chin arching forward is a great sign of narcissism. She's got her head cocked back and that, that chin jutting forward. That just, that's narcissism writ large. Many fans insisted that during her infamous trial with Johnny, Amber posed several times for the camera. What makes this weird is that she'll do this halfway through crying or speaking. 
During one instance of her testimony, people on the internet seem to have caught the actress actively posing for a photograph. Reportedly, Amber goes to wipe her nose with a tissue, notices a photographer ready to snap a pic, pauses deliberately until the photographer can get a good shot, and even looks at the camera. Plenty of people have clipped this particular moment to use against her, and some even turned it into memes on Twitter. This became a huge topic on the internet, to the point where several psychologists had to chime in. Dr. Lillian Glass agreed, saying, Yes, she posed for sure. She had no liquid in her eyes or nose, and she never blew her nose. Just put the Kleenex to her nose and kept it there. She snuck a peek at the camera to make sure they had the shot. Another psychologist also pointed out that pausing for a few seconds with a tissue to one's face obviously isn't how most people blow their nose, saying if anyone had a Kleenex to their nose, they would blow it, not keep it there, unless there was a chronic drip. And if there is a chronic drip, then the Kleenex would have been there consistently. This became so bad that some Twitter users even claimed that her to appear to be sniffing a substance while on the stand as she held a tissue to her face. In response to all of this, a Twitter user wrote, Amber Turd is full of BS. Literally posed for a photo op with her tissue, waited for the flash, and then wiped her nose with her hand. Some users responded by saying, Always looking at the jury. Are you looking at me? Do you feel bad for me? Are you watching me? Who's watching me? Who's looking at me? Thank you, I noticed this too. Her and most of her witnesses have been looking and preaching to the jury. Depp and all his witnesses address the courtroom itself. More false claims surrounding the 36-year-old actress suggest she even used lines from the 1999 movie The Talented Mr. Ripley during her testimony. You can't make this up. Amber Heard stated Johnny Depp made her felt like the most beautiful person in the whole world until he would disappear. In The Talented Mr. Ripley movie, actress Gwyneth Paltrow quotes, A thing with Dickie. It's like the sun shines on you and it's glorious. And then he forgets you and it's very, very cold. Some viewers express the supposed similarity between these sentences. Alana Mastrangino, a famous news reporter, did a breakdown on this and even showed fans a comparison on Twitter. Here's what she wrote. Amber Heard said, When I was around Johnny, I felt like the most beautiful person in the world. Then he would disappear. Talented Mr. Ripley. The thing with Dickie is like the sun shines on you and it's glorious, then he forgets you and it's very cold. Watch the clips side by side. She and then he would disappear. And there'd be just no way to get a hold of him, no way to contact him. <laughs> The thing with Dickie, it's like the sun shines on you and it's glorious and then he forgets you and it's very, very cold. So I'm learning. When you have his attention, you feel like you're the only person in the world. That's why everybody loves him. He then wrote, a lot of people reacted to Heard's testimony saying it gave off strong, talented Mr. Ripley vibes. Maybe she was borrowing a description from the movie to paint Depp as Dickie Greenleaf. Or maybe she just doesn't know what a honeymoon phase is. The ultimate body language sign that possibly boosted claims that Amber Heard was lying throughout the trial was indeed the constant fake crying. This became so obvious that Johnny's lawyer, Camille Vasquez, couldn't help but mention it. In closing statements on Friday the 27th of May, Depp's lawyer, Camille, accused Heard of sobbing without tears during her testimony throughout the trial. Here's what she said. At the start of this case, Mr. Chu and I told you that you are going to hear some disturbing and graphic tales from Miss Heard that were designed to shock you and overwhelm you, which they have. We told you that this would be a performance, the role of her life as a heroic survivor. When Mr. Depp brought this case for defamation, Miss Heard went all in. An acting coach who worked with Amber Heard from 2011 to 2017 backed these claims and said she could tell when Heard was genuinely crying because Heard often struggled to produce real tears while performing. In pre-recorded testimony played for a Virginia courtroom on Wednesday, Christina Sexton said that she became accustomed to seeing Heard cry during their acting lessons because of fights between Heard and her then-husband Johnny Depp. As the couple's relationship progressed and the fighting got heavier, Sexton said in a December 2019 deposition, I would have to build in time because she'd be sobbing at the beginning of the sessions, and we couldn't work until we got her together. In her closing statement, Amber Heard broke down in tears. <laughs> <laughs> well, there were no tears, just Amber breaking down. Here's what some fans had to say. She looks like she's having a particularly difficult bowel movement each time she tries to cry. That just shows how much she used quite a victim card to try to easily manipulate someone against Johnny Depp. How pathetic, and a manipulator she truly is on making excuses.
videos titled Top 10 Cringy Times Amber Heard Fake Cried in Court, and Amber Fake Crying Even Went Viral, and the public went wild. One wrote, I think body language expert Chase hit the nail on the head and gives a huge reason why she lost the case. I'm paraphrasing, but he said she has high confidence in her ability to change people's minds and she's got low confidence in the intelligence of others. You're not a good actor, Amber, and just because famous slash infamous doesn't make you clever. Do you know how you can tell Amber is lying? Her mouth is moving. But what are your thoughts on Amber's body language throughout the infamous trial? Does it clearly show that she's lying? Or is the public getting carried away in believing that Amber was acting the whole time? And if you think that's bizarre, you won't want to miss this next video here.